Hey everybody! So I've got a special treat for all of you today and I have my friend Lynn here with me. Hello everyone. And Lynn and I are going to have a spiritual conversation together and um, I'm also like I really want you guys to have to meet other spiritual people that are out there that are awesome. And Lynn is coming through the woodwork. She has an absolutely beautiful website and she does journey work for people as well, just like I do. And her style is so cottony and so wonderful and makes you feel like ooey and gooey and awesome in every way, <laughs> shape and form. That's what Lynn does. Um, so Lynn and I were talking, um, we've been kind of uh, working through our own life experiences and we came to a point where it felt time to do this, this one on this, this one on one, this live zoom meeting experience and, um, and share and just share. And we have no idea what's going to come out of this. We don't know what we're going to say exactly, but it's going to be really fun and spiritual. And I want, I just want you guys to meet Lynn. She's just awesome. Well, we keep in touch, uh, Abby and I, through an app called Marco Polo, which allows you to just lay down a message and then you listen at your leisure and reply at your leisure. And so uh, we have been kicking this around for a long time. And uh, the conversations that we have are just so profound that we keep saying uh, this, this really needs to go out. So I'm glad that we're finally getting it done in the exact perfect timing that uh, I'm ready, you're ready, and the universe is ready. So we'll see where it goes. So things you guys don't know about Lynn, she has a magical style to her. She has some of the coolest guides, and she, they all have names. Like all of her spirit friends have these both most like riveting names, and they're the most phenomenal people I have ever heard of and then I've actually gotten to meet some of these in my own spiritual world and uh, Lynn has this amazing manifested space called Elizabeth Castle and Elizabeth Castle is an interdimensional space of love and I've actually gotten to go there in the spirit realm I've actually done a journey there and have received healing there and I have a space there where I can go anytime I need to just to heal in that Elizabeth Castle realm and for me, Elizabeth Castle instantly transforms any type of negative energy. I mean, it wants you to heal there. And there's, I experienced these beautiful rainbow waters and just resting in the rainbow water. It just, it just cleans and purifies your energy field. And there's just, there's healing chambers. There's all types of amazing interdimensional beings that are there. Everybody is happy. There's animals, there's fairies, there's people, there's aliens, there's everything there. And um, Lynn, did you want to, I want you to tell I, I was going to say that I think you're the one that brought the rainbow water there, honey, because oh, yes. uh, it, it never appeared into, never appeared until you did. And, um, and that is your trademark in oh. regards to, uh, yes, in, in regards to one of the, the highest forms of your expression is that rainbow waterfall. Every time I, I journey for you or I travel, <clears throat> excuse me, anywhere into your spiritual atmosphere, there's always the rainbow waterfall and the singing. <laughs> that Thank you. beautiful singing, that beautiful, beautiful uh, language of light that is so Aww. unique to you, honey. Um, but Elspeth Castle is, is an amazing place. And I would have to say that uh, to begin with, um, I'd like to say that uh, when I found Abby, as all of you have found Abby, in the same way, just hunting through YouTube, looking for something that resonates with your heart as truth, something that inspires you, that keeps you going, and you end up finding someone like Abby, and uh, she's just so authentic and so real and so uh, out there with her heart and so brave with her heart, it's like I instantly, like you, fell in love with her. So anyway, uh, not to talk Thank about you, you and be <laughs> and like this, but in she any case, um, hotty, everybody, I swear to God, Linda, she finds yeah. the root of your most beautiful essence and she really brings that out and makes oh you. Oh my gosh. It's so <laughs> not hard with this one. It's so not hard. So anyway, uh, as, as it turns out, I found my way to Abby and I have always been the kind of person that um, no matter what I've done in life to procure income, it has always been self-taught. So when, I, uh, when it occurred to me that this type of behavior, this type of journeying uh, could, could happen, I thought, I'm going to try it myself. And you want to know something? When I did, 
oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my entire world opened up and it started flowing so quickly and so easily and so naturally uh, by virtue of my intention to do it and my pure heart coming to it. I had no um, agenda to do anything other than to just explore the light. Yeah. And it just started really coming to me in a unique way, in a way that was similar to Abby, but not exactly like it. So um, um, I highly recommend that anyone go ahead and give it a try. Just give it a try and see where it takes you. Because where it has taken me whew, has been on such an incredible and infinite journey. So I want to hear more about your details about that because I know that we got connected back, I believe it was in 2016. And uh, we were kind of, you were going, we weren't full on talking all the time until just last year where we were really keeping up with each other because Every day, yeah. you, were, you were dipping into this and you were discovering things and you were just starting to blossom in this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. and I would love to hear, cause you do these, Lynn does these awesome things called the goddess bath. And mm -hmm. um, Lynn would be phenomenal for t teaching anybody, especially divine feminine energy, but divine masculine too, because men need goddess baths as Indeed well. They do. Absolutely. They do. They need the balance of it. They need it more so than, than the women. The women are hosting it uh, yeah. for the healers. So yes, I go into a, 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 a a little bubble bath and it's just divine okay of course there are candles and the candles bring uh, their own guides and my guide that comes through my candle is called laurel and uh the uh, all of the crystals that i bring in they all have consciousness and we all have conversations in the bath and it's uh, it's become quite a festival you know and it's it can be personal or it can be universal we invite sometimes it's just a, a group of us in the goddess grotto is what I call it. And uh, sometimes uh, we invite the universe for universal healing. So uh, th that is just one of the offshoots of uh, learning about my own spiritual atmosphere, which is what I did when I met Abby. So the, the, the critical thing is learning about one's spiritual atmosphere and getting in there and spending time there and bringing detail and love to it and building it and creating it and letting it evolve through um, through the love energy of your heart. So um, that's how Elspeth Castle came to pass. Uh, I uh, specifically uh, desired a goddess sanctuary where I could go outside of my bath space here in my home um, uh, into an ethereal space, into a dimensional space where I could uh, commune with the goddess contingency that I so very greatly relate to. And as I, as I realized this, it, it actuated as a castle. It's like I asked, I put my intention out for it, and then it just kind of built up around me. And it just get, got bigger and bigger and bigger. And of course, like anything that is built with love, it just expands and expands exponentially so I've been watching uh, along with my own creating up there in the castle I, I've been watching others create there too so I mean it's just uh, it is a realm where your thoughts will instantly create so it can be whatever kind of sanctuary that you require yeah what are your tips, Lynn, for helping people out there watching this video? What are your tips uh, to, to help them enter into Elizabeth Castle to receive healing for themselves, even if they don't know how to journey or them? What is your advice? It's very simple. The most deeply profound things are very, the, the most simple. So basically, anybody that comes to you, Abby, is already understanding that they need to have a place where they can sit down and quiet themselves yes. and you don't have to be a master meditator there are uh, a lot of rules about meditation that uh, that in this enlightened time they really are unnecessary quiet yourself sit down quiet yourself and set your intention it's as simple as that uh, we as humans have 
have been denied our knowledge of how powerful our intention is and how powerful our thoughts are. So just sit down, quiet yourself, and set your intention. I want to go to Elspeth Castle. And what that will tell your guides and your high self is that you are ready to assume your own sanctuary. And just let it be. So imagine at that point, okay, so all right, uh, I'm, uh, I intend to go to Elspeth Castle. And in my quietude, I am developing it in my mind. And decide how you want it to look. Do you want it to be a room? Do you want it to be uh, uh, a mansion? Do you, whatever you want, this is something that you need to get in there and create with your own uh, mind and heart, mind-heart connection, and spend a lot of time doing it. So the more time that you uh, offer to this uh, uh, brilliant escapade, the more real it is going to be for you. Yeah. And before you know it, you're going to uh, ideate yourself into that space and you are going to start seeing gifts yeah. and things will change in there for you and they will evolve of their own volition and expand. And all of a sudden you start walking into a space that is holier than you could have ever thought you could have created. But there it is. And that's because all of your guides are helping you. You see, so you've set your intention and through that, through that power, that incredible power, all, you're, you're bringing in the, the universe to help you do it. And it's really just as simple as that. I love this so much, Lynn. You're I natural. You. God, I love that El Elspeth Castle. It is, it is so much for me and, and so many now. Mm -hmm. So prior to this, uh, this uh, discussion here and to the airing of it, I have uh, implemented onto the website um, and Abby will put a link to it. It is called mm -hmm. liralynn.vision. Mm -hmm. And onto the website is an introduction. So go onto the blog of the website and uh, the, the newest offering is, is entitled Elspeth Castle. And it is a welcoming to you and an attunement into that dimensional area. So I recommend that you check it out. And um, if you have any questions, you can reach me on that website. And I will definitely put links in the description to Lynn's website and even put a, a link to the blog post as well. And if you oh, go you. to Lynn's website too, make sure to scroll down to the bottom because you can, you can contact Lynn at the bottom of the homepage and you can also, if you want to explore a journey session with Lynn, you can also do that at the bottom of the homepage too. And um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys is, so Elizabeth Castle is also another way of saying, um, I'm ready to heal now. And I want a sacred s space where I can go to have that experience. That's exactly and, right. And You're not going to someone else's place. You right. are going to a place in your own heart dimension. Right. Right. And you're falling upon it just by ex by setting your intention. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And Elizabeth Castle is just, it's an amazing, extraordinary uh, reflection of love. And you have, we all have a connected home in this beautiful place, this beautiful place of love. And it is like a space of heaven, you know, because it is. It, healing you it's welcoming you it's nurturing you it's welcoming you to cry it to release of upsets um it's welcoming you to explore to be the adventurer um to be the creator and when you choose to get connected with a an inner sanctuary you you like lynn said you you close your eyes and you make the, that intention. I choose to create a space of love. And I'm very interested in doing that in conjunction with Elspeth Castle. And I'm really interested in experiencing what this is all about. And that, that, that's the great beginning right there. That's the power. That's the power right yes. there is claiming mm -hmm. your space. Exactly. Now, you, that's it. Setting your intention is absolutely everything. And you, you just... Uh, you bring everything to you at that point. Don't work hard, work smart. Just yeah. bring it to you. You know, there's no need to search, search, search. And, you know, uh, it's wonderful. Uh, uh, you know, everybody, um, everybody loves to read books and things like that. But keeping in mind that books are just other people's journeys yeah. and other people's wisdom and other people's 
um, you know, wisdom gained from from their experiences, mm -hmm. and and it's important for us to create and know our own heart. Yes, and, and to to claim your own sanctuary is a very very big deal because once you do. Um, and you spend time in there, that's the critical thing. Yes. You, you, it's important that you utilize this space regularly. Right. Once you spend time there, your entire world, I mean, you will feel the peace come into your world because you've claimed it within. Yeah. Nothing happens outside of you until it happens within. Exactly. So you claim your sanctuary within, and all of a sudden it just expands until until. You know, and, and then it, and then what it does is it prompts the work. The universe will show you the work that you need to do in this life by uh, giving you emotional um, reactions to things. So if you have a re an emotional reaction, like negatively to something, you know that's within me. And I'm going to go back into my sanctuary and I'm going to ask what that is and I'm going to ask for it to be cleared out. So you clear out all of these things and all of a sudden you just lighter and lighter and lighter and... Uh, you're leveling up all the time with all of these upgrades that Solaris, our beautiful planet, is getting. And it, it, before you know it, uh, you've got nothing to release anymore. And you are just this radiant ball of light, which is our birthright. This is the human birthright uh, to be one with God, radiant and uh, creator beings. Yes, I agree. And... Some some ideas that have come to my mind as you were talking there, Lynn, is I just recently did a, a, a psychic wisdom session. It's posted on my other YouTube channel. And it was connecting with the higher self and asking, how do I do that? How do I become one with my higher self? And the reality is your higher self is the master within you. And to go within is truly the gateway to your own personal freedom. And th this is all about love and enlightenment. And love and enlightenment is a creative um, adventure. It's exploring who you are inside and not what the world out there gives you. Because you can watch TV, you watch the news, you can watch, you know, anything That's else. That's all distraction. It is, because mm -hmm. it's preventing you from finding that mm -hmm. inner, inner interesting side. That is the adventure of our life, of this yes. incarnation, is to find who we are. Because once we know, once we, once we see who we truly are, yes. everything that does not serve us, that doesn't serve us any longer, just falls away. Yes. So when you realize your true self, there is nothing to heal any longer. Exactly. And I also noticed that for me, that I was working with a lot of guides, and I still am. They're all my colleagues and friends now. I used to look up, and I still look up to them entirely. But but I, I used to, to think that their word was more important than mine. And, yeah. you know, and and as, as, as you realize that your guides are more your colleagues, mm -hmm and your decisions become more higher minded and you're releasing more and more stuff, then your, your decisions, you really are embodying at all times your high self at that point. Right. And you can say, okay, my guide did this, my guide suggests that, but you're really looking at it more of a, of a, like a high self committee yes. rather than the, the, um, rather than someone that's going to tell you what to do in your life and right. to make fun. And you do not want somebody to tell you what to do. Just you got to find that inner answer within and you've got to take control of what is it I want to get out of this lifetime. And then and then say, well I want to get happiness out of this lifetime. Okay. Um, so how do you access happiness? Sometimes the world out there, we get bound and wound up into it. And that's why spirituality and opening up your your own inner inner Elizabeth Castle is so important because you need that sanctuary. You do. You start to discover the enlightenment within creates the happiness within yourself and then it starts to manifest around you because yes. it inspires you to gravitate towards more self-loving choices. And going within is so essential. And also, you know, Lynn, you were talking about how you see your guys, you sort of looked up to them at one point, but now you see them as colleagues. 
I'm a huge advocate, even, you know, Joe, Joseph Bradley um, and I, we talk about this sometimes about how people worship Jesus, for instance, or worship God mm -hmm. or worship, um, that we just scratch out the word worship and just say, Jesus is your best friend. God yeah. is your best friend. Like, everybody out there is your best friend. Buddha is your best friend. Like, these are people we, we, we need to sort of bow down to. We can do that in reverence and honor and just say, wow, you're awesome. Yeah. But it's also like best buds. I mean, mm -hmm. if you could talk to Buddha as your best buddy, oh, my God, the connection, it becomes balanced. And they would love it so much more, yeah. you know, we because nobody, nobody, you know, mm -hmm. worshiping someone else, Yes. It's so old, old age. It's yes. so old age. It's it's yes. the old age moving out. And the new yes. age moving in is all about, um, you know, taking everybody else's words into account and into heart and loving yes. them, but finding your own, you know, uh, your own Buddha within. Yes. Finding your yes. own Jesus within and your own Christ consciousness. Yes. And that is that is your arbiter of truth. Yeah. And nothing else in this world right here. Right. That's where your truth is. Yes. And it is, it's true um, that we're entering into a new divine um, age for the human race. It's a self-realizing experience that each and every one of us is special and we work together as a collective, not um, to better, you know, better our position in life, but to, to become one with the idea of bettering everyone's position in life. Mm -hmm. And we don't need to worship anybody. We need to love ourselves and love each other. So we need to be the gods and goddesses that we are. We need to wake up to our own inner power and start owning up to what, what are we here for? What are we capable of? Um, and start just working on that higher vibrational level of, um, I'm not, um, I'm not down here. I'm way up here because I am a reflection of love. And how mm -hmm. can I be more of a reflection of love? Um, I love myself. That brings awareness, um, compassion. Um, I forgive myself, whatever I need to do. And then I start to see more clearly the bigger picture of the world mm -hmm. around me. Um, exactly and the precious right. value of love in everything. That's right. That's exactly yeah. right. And, and keeping in mind, too, going out and about in our day-to-day -day lives, I mean, everything is a mirror to us. Yes. We, cannot, we, cannot have, we don't see something out in our world unless it's within. So, yes. you know, if you have a, a, a circumstance where you come across somebody that, um, that really pisses you off, that's, that's within you. You need to pull that weed and, 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 and forgive yourself or, you know, for whatever uh, a situation that that is mm -hmm. and, and just keep moving and just let it go let it go let everything go you know and 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 enlighten enlighten that's the game that's the whole game it's just yeah. to come in and and um, get rid of the stuff and to connect with unity consciousness that's that's where our strength is mm -hmm. uh, as we are all one I love this so much oh. Liz. So do you, fun. Do you have anything like else you want to talk about? I mean, there's so many avenues we could take. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I this is such a, a, a new thing for me, you well, know. What about uh, Solaris? What can you tell us about your connection with Solaris? Well, Solaris, uh, I, for some reason, I have always felt really connected to the sun. And despite the fact that I have a history of melanoma, which I don't think is related. I think that a lot of the information that we're given about the sunshine is um, untrue. I think that the sun is healing. I think any any fabulous thing, uh, uh, overexposure to any fabulous thing is is not good, but I think the sun is, is amazing. And I've been talking to spirit all, all my life. I mean, conversations in my head with spirit, uh, just talking, talking, and talking, talking, and talking, and talking, knowing in my faith yeah. that, that it was getting through. Yeah. Well, Solaris was the first one to answer me back. And I was standing right here. Let me show you that view. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that view. So I'm standing right there. And I'm talking to Solaris up in the sky, and I'm sending him good night. Thank you, Solaris, for your beautiful sunshine rays today. And thank you, Solaris, for all of the upgrades and the downloads that humanity receives, that all life on Gaia receives from you. And I heard as clear as day, you are welcome, my beautiful daughter. Oh, 
Oh gosh. That began at that point that opened that opened the speaker phone because uh, I, I think what opened the speaker phone more than anything was my uh, realizing that I could hear it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there it is. It's as simple as day. That was the method in which that I received. Yeah. So that's my particular way. I mean, uh, not everybody's going to hear uh, words loud as day like that. Sometimes you're just going to have a sense of something or you're going to awaken the next morning and hear it. Or, you know, you're just going to feel it. But everybody, everybody receives in different ways. Keep in mind that... Um, your special way is so unique. Everybody needs to find their unique way because that is the highest gift in, in our uniqueness. To try to be like somebody else is missing the point entirely. So, you know, just be yourself and, um, li and, and talk to the guides until you hear them back. And it's all about, I think, hearing them back is all about you achieving a specific frequency and readiness for it. Yeah. So just, just have faith and have patience. Patience is a very, very big deal in this life. A very big deal in this life. Yeah. Um, have patience with yourself. Treat yourself like you would your own best friend, like, you, like your own most cherished child. Hug yourself. Love yourself. Develop a communication with yourself and the consciousness in your body and you know and and you will start shedding so quickly and raising your frequency so steadily you know yeah. i wish you i wish everyone here a very very pleasant journey yeah that is so beautiful and i feel like this is a great place for us to find completion and i think it's a good start that was wonderful. Um, I loved this so much. Um, just to let you guys know one more time, check out the description so you can check out Lynn's website. And if you feel moved within your heart, um, I definitely encourage you to explore a journey session with her and let her tap into your, your beautiful essence and share her divine perspective. Um, you will be glad that you did. <laughs> From the depths of my heart, do I welcome you all. Oh, awesome. All right. I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you, Abby. Thank you, beautiful Abby. You have more than any human on this planet. You have awakened so much within me that my, my heart surges wow. for our friendship. Wow. Ooey gooeyness right there. Wow. My heart is just like glowing like Solaris and I'm just feeling so warm and marshmallowy inside. Thank you so um, much for saying that, Liz. I love you, sweetheart, and I love you all very, very much. <laughs> all right. Thank you all and we wish you a wonderful day.